guys, my name is Hillary Farbell Acres, and today um, I'm very excited to bring to you. I just got another cow, or I guess I should say steer, for our freezer. So this should feed our family for up to about six months. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of quickly show you our freezers and kind of how we organize it. I do have a hog coming, um, a pig coming here probably in the next week or two. So that's gonna be a whole pig that'll hopefully also help it, you know, stretch the meat a little bit more as well. Cause my husband loves pork chops and different things. Um, so yeah, follow along, this would interest you. But um, this is something we love to do. Just, I think it saves a ton of money. We were getting, you know, grass fed steak from our local Amish market and we were just finding that it was, you know, so expensive to, you know, specifically cut and pick, you know, each type of meat that we were getting. So now we get a whole uh, cow and it is a lot of ground beef specifically. Um, but I can, you know, customize, I want all the bones, I want all the fat to render the tallow, which is nice, instead of having to buy tallow separately. It's basically just cutting out the middleman and I can basically go directly to the farmer and get the meat and use it how I will. So yeah, I love it. I've been doing it now for probably about a year. And so I think this is our third cow potentially. Um, but this is the first time I'm keeping all of the meat. So, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Um, this is just our backup fridge that we keep in the garage. So that's the fridge part, this is the freezer part. Um, so this is two big boxes. Um, they're 27-ish pounds roughly. Um, so we went with a place a little bit closer to us this time called Dreger Farms. So he does rotational uh, grazing and he really tries to move his um, steers. So they're eating different places eating different grass patches. He doesn't spray with pesticides. He, they're hundred percent grass fed. So the processor, he didn't process on the farm himself. He took it to a place called Smuckers in Mount Joy, uh, Pennsylvania. So they basically process and, um, yeah, they basically slaughter and process the beef for you. So I had to contact them to kind of get the cuts I specifically wanted. Um, they were really great to work, work with though. I've, people in the past have just been like Amish and they have basically done the processing themselves. Um, so I don't really know what I'd prefer to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is fine. They did give me the option though, which was really cool of getting pressed patties. Um, so it didn't all have to be just like a pack of, of ground beef. Maybe the option of like ground beef like this. Um, I could get pressed patties and I'll show them to you in a second. But um, basically you could pick like, I think four ounce, six ounce or eight ounce. Um, so I did a little mix of those just cause we do, you know, eat a lot of burgers and different things. So thought that was cool, but okay, I have them right here. Let me think. So this is what they look like. I think there's four in a pack and these are the six ounce packs. So yeah, that was cool. So this is 27 pounds and then this is, I think the same. Yeah, and this is just this is just ground beef. This box. So with any time you get a cow, you get a ton of ground beef. Okay, and this is some of the fat that I got, but it comes like this. I already, you know, I have a video on rendering fat, and I'm sure people are familiar with it. But this is just how it comes. So you kind of have to like um, cut away the gristle and different things and parts of the like beef that's gotten in there. Basically, just want as pure fat as possible. But yeah, this is a lot. This is. This is probably like five pounds worth of fat. So, and then I have bone too. Um, it's just one bag of it. Probably separate out this into two different pounds or so. Like I think this is a five pound bag. So I'll probably separate this out two different times to get um, when we do bone broth. Mix of like knuckle bones, marrow bones, just, yeah. Okay. So I think this is seven cubic feet chest freezer. Five or seven, I'm not 100% sure, but this is just packed down full with ground beef. So um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> hundreds of pounds of it. So we actually still have some ground beef from our last um, steer that we got. Just that's the only thing that's left, but uh, we're still working our way through. So we'll have a lot of ground beef. I, yeah, I don't mind that, but that takes us the most amount of time to eat up. I think last time I did it wrong and I think we ate a lot of our steaks and roasts right away, um, but you can almost do it equally. I guess you kind of have to basically be really cognizant about eating almost like two thirds of the beef in a week and then eating steaks like more sparingly and roasts and things. Um, we just kind of flew through the steaks and 
and we kind of always tend to do this so this time i want to be a lot more cognizant about really being <laughs> intentional about eating ground beef you know several times a week and that's why i like the idea of the patties just because they're so easy we can just you know make them ahead of time for the kids for snacks or for us you know we eat a lot of meat um so yeah this is new so this i don't know if you can tell i'm five seven five eight and i'm like to here and yeah it's just it's this huge fridge it's 21 cubic feet i don't think we realized how big it was when we got it but i love it i'm super excited it's not one but yeah it's huge there's some, but we're gonna fill this with our pig so it's completely empty but we just got that because we are completely full on other things this is another really big freezer this is probably 18 cubic feet this is another stand-up one um that we use so this is where the bulk of it is. So if you can see that already. So down here. <clears throat> Are you gonna be playing with it? Yeah. All right, so I have more fat. Some of the organ meats right here. So I think this is, yeah, mixed with steak, but this is a lot of organ meats, flat irons, then over here we have the skirt steaks. So I think he tried to put that there. This is more of the beef patties. So these are the bigger ones. These are the eight ounce. It's on there. These are the flat irons. Um, chuck eye steak. Everybody. this is cheek meat and we got some of that from our market they just give out cheeks i guess the butcher was just basically disposing of the beef cheek um so i actually bought just a case of beef cheek so this isn't from the steer that we got but um i love it it's super it's super gelatinous super tender you just you do have to slow cook it of course um but yeah i love beef cheek i eat that a lot so I, when they offered it to me, I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. We have, these are all the beef cheeks, and then we have a brisket here, and another brisket there. Okay, so, these are a lot of like the roasts and things. Is the heart? No, it's not the roast. Roast roast chuck roast down there there's some filet mignons and they're so little oh my goodness but yeah chuck roast chuck roast a bunch of those right. more cheek meat that we just threw on top there blank steaks little filet mignons Delmonico, yeah. steaks, and then we have soup bones. So these are all just soup bones. So the patties, you just kind of stock here just because we have some space for them. And they're all up here as well. So all the patties. And then like I said, we just got the cheek meat, so he just threw that here. Um, this is a fatty tender. Okay, so here in this box that we're not having on haven't opened yet, we have short ribs, we have rump roast, sirloin tip roast. So that's 40 pounds worth. And then Monaco steaks, hanger steaks, brisket, sirloin, and London broil. And this is also this is about 35 pounds, this box right here. So this is a lot of our steaks and roasts that aren't you don't see down there. And then this this box is just bones. So, didn't actually get as much fat, I feel like, this time as we did last time. I have this one, this one, and then I have two more backs. I think it's all the fat that we got from this steer. But this is a nice amount of meat. I'm very excited about this. Um, but yeah, and I'm also, because I'm very excited about these patties. I think it'll be just nice to thaw and then just throw on the Blackstone or the grill um, just for easy meals. But yeah. 
make a little mess over here. Okay, so for reference, when I say there's a lot of like ground beef, we have, including the bones, we have 174 pounds of steaks, sirloins, roasts, all the things. And that includes um, in this 11 pounds of the soup bones. Um, I ordered extra bones. I was like, I want all the bones. If you can give them to me, and they did. But these, I guess they just customarily give the soup bones, but they don't give the extra bones. Um, so it's 174 pounds. And then for ground beef and the patties, it is 154 pounds. So that is um, basically, it's like an even split. I actually think with our last year, we got even more ground beef than this. Um, so yeah, you just kind of have to be prepared that you're going to have a lot of packs of ground beef, but like I said, that's not a problem. <laughs> so yeah, I think ground beef is super versatile. You can do a ton with it, um, but yeah, we just had to be more intentional of really trying to think of meals that incorporated a lot of ground beef because we just kind of found ourselves eating very simply before this, I would say. We ate a lot of like, you know, steaks and potatoes and we still do, um, but we definitely have, you know, started to branch out into more like casseroles and um, I don't know, like, enchiladas and just like different things that I probably wouldn't normally make and they're delicious and they're just kind of stretching me a little bit but it wasn't say it's something that I uh, naturally gravitate towards um, but yeah no it's definitely been good I think the kids really like it as well I got liver heart tongue and then we also got the oxtail so all those extras that are not normally customarily given I guess they're disposed of I'm not sure what they do with them but um, yeah if I could I honestly asked for like intestines and like the uh, beef cheeks and things that they basically they told me that they wouldn't give me um, because I like to use the whole cow if possible as much as I know how to of course but um, my last cow which was cool my last year they ground up like the undesirables that we wouldn't eat like the intestines and the stomach and I gave them to my chickens so um, it was like labeled I think as like dog food but yeah and that was really cool so I actually got a lot of that as well I got like two or I think one or two cases of that but that wasn't an option this time sadly so yeah i don't know this one's closer to my house which i appreciate um the other one was oh my gosh upstate pennsylvania so it was probably two and a half hours away so yeah i don't know what's this is a place we can run to in you know 35 minutes so you know i'm it's all a little bit of a trade-off but yeah we're super happy with it we already ate some of the steaks and some of the ground beef as well so all right guys, well, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you guys are on the fence or have any questions about getting your own steer, uh, I really like it. I think you're supporting you know, a local farmer. You're getting it directly from the farmer too. I think it's a lot less expensive that way. Even if, you know, me, I was buying high quality meat from my local Amish market, um, but of course they're the middleman. So they get it, you know, wholesale from the farmer and then they have to market up quite a bit. So it was, you know, very expensive as opposed to this where you're, because you're buying in bulk and you're buying the whole animal, you are just, you know, inherently saving a lot of money. Um, you can't customize like, I just want steaks, of course. Like I said, you get a ton of other things with it, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's still like really nice. I got to meet the guy, the farmer, and he told me kind of all about his um, operation there. And yeah, it was, it was cool. My kids love seeing the farm and kind of where, you know, helping them to understand where they get their meat from as well. So, um, yeah, I don't foresee us really going back to just getting like individual cuts from like a grocery store or market. Um, but we're just kind of, I don't know, I'm just kind of removed from that. I just, I like doing this. I'll probably always do this if this is an option. Um, the whole cow was in terms of cost, uh, 3,300, just, a, just above 3,300. So, uh, it's definitely an investment, you know, to save throughout the year and um but yeah a lot of people this lasts for a whole year though i will say so we just happen to eat a lot of meat like my kids oddly enough even though they're young eat a lot of meat so um we just tend to go through it quicker but a lot of people this would truly last a whole year so um and then we're also having a pig come like i said in a week or two so i'll be sure to show you guys that as well um but yeah i love doing this if you have any questions uh, let me know uh some of the resources i'll put in um, the description of how I found, you know, my specific farmers. Um, I think it's called eat, eatwild.com is where I found, um, I think I found both of them that way. So yeah, I'll put it, I'll put some helpful links in the description. If you guys are just getting started and want to see kind of local farmers in your area. Okay. All right. Well, thanks guys. Hope you guys have a great week and hope it's warmer where you are than where I am. <laughs> All right. Thanks guys.